Okay, now we are moving to the question number 5.2. The question you can see the bottom of the screen. The question is a cone of diameter of base 60 mm and height 75 mm is resting on one of its generators on HP with the axis parallel to V. It is cut by a horizontal section plane passing through a point on the axis 50 mm away from the apex. Draw the elevation and the sectional plan. That is the question. A cone of diameter 60 mm and height 75 mm is resting on one of its generators on HP and parallel to V. So, in the symbol position, So this is the simple portion of the cone. Now you can divide the cone into 2 meter parts. A, B, C, D, E, F, G and A. So all of you have now how to collect all this and this is the axis of the cone in the simple question. Now is given data, this is resting on one of its generators on the ground and the parallel to V. So for obtaining that, select any point, name it as A dash, take this much distance and locate to O2 dash. Now we can obtain E dash by taking this value and this value and intersecting in two arcs so that we have reproduced the cone like this. This will be E dash, here it will be C dash, so this will be B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, and A dash, B dash, C dash, B dash, E dash, B dash, E dash. G dash and H dash. This is the axis, and these are the generators. Okay. Now the question it is given that uh, sorry, and the uh, top for obtaining the top view. So, the top view of the cone is also okay. Now, it is given that uh, this is cut by a horizontal section plane. So, what do you mean by the term horizontal section plane? Horizontal section plane is a section plane which is parallel to HP and perpendicular. So, this is a horizontal section plane. So, in the front view, you can see the horizontal trace which is the cutting edge of the section plane. So, that cutting edge will cut the cone at some point. And their point is also given in the question paper. What is uh, it, it is given that uh, it is cut at a point, cutting through a point on the axis 50 mm away from the apex. So, first we have to obtain the point which is 50 mm away from the apex point, which is 50 mm from the apex. So, this height is 70, which is given. So, 50 mm from apex means from this point we can measure a point. This is the point and that point is at a distance of 50 mm from the apex means this distance will be 50 mm. That can be measured at this. So this distance will be 50 mm. Okay. That can be measured at this. So this distance will be 50 mm. So this is the point where the section plane will cut the 
so on. So the section line is also given as it is a horizontal section line. So draw a horizontal line passing through that point. That will be the vertical rise and that is the cutting edge of our post. And we can see that this section plane have intersected at different points of the base edge as well as the generator of the pole. Generators of the pole. So we have to locate those points and we have to number those points. So we can see that this intersected at two points here. One between BC and another between GH. That is one in the front of the cone and the other in the back of the cone. That can be seen as a between BC, B dash, C dash. One point is there and between G dash and H dash another point is there. So, we can mark this as two points. One dash, two dash. Is it clear? One dash means the uh, intersection point of the cutting edge, cutting edge with the B dash, C dash. And 2 dash means it is an intersection point with the cutting edge and G dash H dash. Similarly, this will intersect two points here. One is O to C and another is O to dash G dash. O to dash C dash and O to dash G dash. That is 3 dash, 4 dash. Similarly, this has intersected here two points. One is O to dash F dash. And another is on the generator O2 dash D dash. So we can name it as 5 dash, 6 dash. And we can see that it intersected at the generator O2 dash E dash. There is only one generator that is O2 dash E dash. So name that point as 7 dash. So we have obtained 7 different points on the core which was intersected by the section. Is it clear? Now what will be the next step? Project all these points on the corresponding top view, locate the corresponding points and then close the top. Then we will get the section image. Right? So listen. This one dash is a point on BC, base BC. So project one dash so that we will get a point between B and C. This is B and this is C. So this will be one. The same point can be projected for obtaining a point between G and H. This is G and this is H. So this should be 2. Now, 3 and 4. Project 3 and 4. And we can obtain a point on O to G and O to C. This is O to G. So this is 3. This is O to C. So this is 4. Now, 5 and 6. Project here. 5 and 6 are on the generators O to F and O to B. Now, here, no O to F and O to B. It has not been marked, right? A, B, C. This is D and this is F. So, draw two generators here. This is O to D and this is O to F. And we can see that it has been intersected here. So, this is 5 and this is 6. Now, for obtaining the last point, this is 7. And it is a point on O2E. This is O2E. So this will be 7. So now we have obtained a point 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, and 7. Now connect all these points. Engross all these points. This can be removed as it is cut and attach so that this is enhanced. Now we can dimension this is diameter 60 and this height is 7. This is your answer. I think all of you have understood then. Okay, I will explain this again. Cone of diameter 60 and height 70. So this is a single position and it is given that it is resting on one of its generators. So this cone is resting on one of its generators. So it is going like this and we have obtained the corresponding top. Now it is given that it is cut by a horizontal section plane. 
Now what do you mean by the term horizontal section plane? Horizontal section plane is a section plane which is parallel to HP and perpendicular. So this is a horizontal section plane. So when you are observing a horizontal section plane, you can see a horizontal line and that line will be the vertical trace that is the cutting edge. So we have to check where it is uh, through which point it is passing. So it is given that it is cut by a horizontal section line which is passing through a point 50 mm which is passing through a point on the axis 50 mm from the apex. So from the apex at a distance of 50 mm through the axis. So we have located the point draw a horizontal line. That will be the vertical trace. That will be the cutting edge vertical trace. That cutting edge mark it as vertical trace and that cutting edge on drawing we can see that that line will intersect at different points on the front view of the point. We can see that this line will intersect at two points on the base. One is between B dash and C dash of the base and the other one is at the G dash and the H dash of the base. That means one in the front of the bone and another in the back of the bone. And on extending that line, we can see that this line intersect at O2C and O2G. So mark that point as those points as 3 dash and 4 dash. Similarly, it intersect at this point, we can see that that point belongs to O2F dash and O2D dash. Generate is O2F dash and O2D dash. So name it as 5 dash 6 dash. And then the last point, there is only one point because there is only one generator that is O2 dash E dash and name it as 7 dash. Now project to all this 1 dash, 3, 2 dash to 7 dash in the top view and the corresponding points are marked as 1 corresponding points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Enclose all these points and hatch for that so that we will get the final image. Okay. I will share the answer also with this video. Yeah.